Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608, and today I am playing Star Maid. And, we are back in the research and development world, and I have built a little weapons testing ship. I have a antimatter cannon, or cannon computer, with 10 modules. I have a beam with 10 modules, a missile with 5 modules, and a piercing effect computer. Alright, now... I did some math and whatnot last time. I've spawned us in a new Isanth. Brand new. Shields are good. That one's the shields aren't doing so good. Hmm. Okay. Alright. So. We need to get down and... Find its door. And we find the door and... Little up. We fire. Shields aren't doing... Alright, taking the object shields. No, we haven't because I'm looking at the wrong thing. I'm not doing anything to the shields. Let's hit it with a beam. Ooh, my beam hurts the shields more than the cannon does. That's interesting to note. And let's hit it over there. There we go. Since it doesn't have a shield recharger, once an instance shields, or at least these zero type Bs in, that I'm looking at, once they're done, or uh, the shields are out, the shields are out. So now, I've been in battle with it, I've knocked its shields out, I want to get below it, and try to aim for right there. Now, I wanted to attach my anti-matter cannon to my beam cannon, that should hurt it a whole bunch. Wow. Okay. Now let's... Hop in here and see if that actually did what I wanted it to. No, it destroyed a single block. So, uh, we're going to hit the space bar, get realigned to something, and lose everything. Okay. I'm going to tap F8, and we are going to also attach it to this piercing computer. Now, what did that do? I'm not going to get out of the ship this time. Go into build mode, and... Got it. In fact, I destroyed both. Oh, that's interesting. Because that's not all that expensive. A uh, 10B module, 10 cannon, and 10 piercing effect. I don't think it's all that expensive. Anyway, let's add us up another Isant and target 2. Where is target 2 spawning? Your target two. All right. What does piercing do with shields? It's about right there. Hit. It didn't do anything to the shields. So if I hit it with a missile, huh? Shields didn't bother the shields at all. Hmm. So I have a weapon to pierce it once the shields are down. But let's see. What if I added a cannon computer and a cannon barrel and damage computer? Okay. And we're going to set up a. I'm going to put the cannon barrel on bottom and the damage computer on top. Damage beams, we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, and we're going to sleeve it to that, or we're going to sleeve the, the cannons to the damage beam, and we're going to do 10s. So that should give us a steady stream. G to grab my regular damage beam, and huh, there we go. Ah, oh, the shields aren't, or the power is consuming, oh, peaking at 4,400? That's not bad. What's this peak at? Alright. No power consumed, and... 12,000. For that shot. Okay. Alright. So. Power's out. Shields are out. We switch and fire. And go check to see what's happened. I love the debris breaking off. I've taken out the... Their weapons... I was just going to fly around and be useless. Cool. Alright, will it 
appears from behind, though. In this lower armored area. A hit, and... I'm still in the ship. Went straight through. Let's see, straight through. Uh, I don't know if that's broken from other things. Let's see, a hit here. Oh, I think that one cleared, cleared went clean through. Huh. Can I see? No. Okay. Ah, let's go to the more armored section of the front there. Okay. I hit, I took out the Bobby AI module. Where am I? X. If you're in build mode and you ever get lost, press X and I'll snap back to your ship. I think it's center of mass. I, I don't actually know where it snaps back, but it's back to the ship. Ooh, that pierced through the glass. Took out the Bobby AI. What's that? The Bobby AI and damaged the chair. Well, no, I believe there were two there. Hold on. Two portions to the seat, so it actually took out a a advanced module block as well. I think. Oh, come on, where's a ship that hasn't been shot to pieces? Yes, it did. It took out an advanced module as well. But I wanted to check. I'll hop into this one. What's that under? I'll ignore that. Oh, it's a camera. Okay. Um, let's dig around a little more. So I didn't actually dig out the bottom here to see what's in it. Hey! There's a shield. But no rechargers, so, or that I've seen. So just taking the shields out would be the same as shooting those out. Let's see. And all this appears to be aesthetics. Interesting, there's lights in there. That's odd. Okay. And this looked like it was power and thrusters. Yeah. And the, the wings. Okay. I didn't want to be in flight mode in this. I wanted to be... Where's my weapons testing ship? There we go. Tab F8. And out of fun, we'll just lob a missile in there. Ooh. Missile does quite a amount of you know, quite a bit of damage. Once the shields are out. And this is just five missiles. Or five modules. Uh, okay, um let's load us up target number three. Three three Where's target O three? Or target O three. We come in, we see our target O3, we hit them with our uh, beam doodads, and we take out the uh, shields. That's not going to do enough to actually do much damage. We've taken out the shields, we switch to missiles, and we aim for about right there. We miss entirely. But did that do anything to the insides? Where am I? Ah, there I am. Did it splash inside and damage stuff? Doesn't look like it. Yeah. But if I switch here and do that, it takes out that, but I missed by one. The reload isn't bad. I have to line it up fairly well. There. So it might take several shots unless you have, like, excellent precision. And you can take out the AI, AI computer. How many of these, uh, these will this go through? Uh, oh, That shot took out just about everything in this line. <sighs> Okay, so if you get a couple of those, you can disable it that way, or lob a missile in there. Let's see if that happens. We'll see. Let's see what that happens. Let's see what that does. Just, okay, that doesn't do as nearly as much. 
Alright, my my damage beam cannon doesn't seem to do much. I guess if I held it down I could No, I'm getting shot that whole time. Okay. So I've learned an awful lot today. I've learned I really like the um oh where is it? The cannon computer with a hundred percent damage beam and a hundred percent pierce. Damage beam computer with 100% uh, cannon is all right for taking out shields. Um, probably, if I added an ion effect, it'd be okay. Missiles are for for this precision isn't isn't the greatest. It does do quite a bit of damage. Of course, I'm only using five missile tubes here. Let's um, go back here, find where I put the missiles. There we go, and. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now let's see. Huh. It splashes and spreads. What if we take the missile and attach the piercing to it? Will it still splash and spread? Ooh. That did better. Okay. One more target. Now admin load target. 04. Where is target 04? Target 04. Okay. Now this is just 10 missiles with 10 spread or penetration damage. So right around there, we hit. We don't do anything because the shields are up. So we're going to chew the shields with that and wait for missiles to load back up. Though it did do damage even with missiles off. Or even with full shields. Penetrated a bit. Okay. And we're going to back up a bit right there. Hit. And... What did it do? Did not take out the computer. That did. Hmm. Okay. I still think I like, I like the... Uh... Oh, I didn't have penetration. Or penetrating on the uh, canning computer anymore. I like that. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Alright. Before we go, we're gonna snap back over to my spreadsheet. Ooh, that took out that whole window. Okay. We're gonna snap back over to my spreadsheet. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, windows... go away. Okay. Uh, where is missiles? I have 10 missile barrels. It should be doing 3,000 damage just by itself. If I sleeve it to a beam, it'll take the reload to 45, but it'll give me 9,000 damage. Okay. And it's become a smart missile. Cool. Alright, um, let's get back over to Star Maid. I can find it. There we go. Alright, this has been a little more uh, research and development. Hopefully it hasn't been irritating or too much to bear boring. Uh, hopefully you found this as uh, insightful and as informative as I have. I hope. Anyway, I am JW608 and this is Starmhade. And I will dig you cats later.